At GCU, we are always looking for ways to outreach to our community, and so we jumped right on board when we heard about the Partner with the Principal program because it was a way for us to get individuals from Grand Canyon University who maybe aren't as familiar with how K-12 schools work and operate on a regular basis to get them to go in and really experience the day in the life of a principal, learn a little bit more about K-12 schools, and then also explore ways for us to partner with those schools into the future. I had no idea what to expect when I came here to Tomahawk Elementary School and I was just flabbergasted by how much of a well-oiled machine this is. Doing partner with a principal, you're able to gain new connections to either outside resources or just to have somebody realize where you're coming from. I went back and was able to connect Principal Corley with our K-12 Education Development Department. They're going to be coming out here to see what she's doing, getting her connected to some of the programming that we have. We're also looking at ways that we can uh, partner through our learning lounge to get students here uh, on campus to be um, on-hand support for some of the after-school efforts that Tomahawk Elementary might pursue. The other thing I'm really excited about is being able to participate on um, the Education Advisory Consortium Board because that will help to allow to have a bigger platform to speak about the things that really schools need. What do our teachers need to know coming in? Um, how do they need to be prepared to enter and walk into a classroom? We partner with schools in a number of different ways. So professional development, of course, is a huge partnership that we do with a lot of our schools. Bernard Black is a great example of a school that we were able to come in and help from a professional development perspective because they were working on implementing new programs at their school and they needed the support to be able to do that. I've been teaching for 27 years now and I had tried projects with my students before but once we started working with GCU and they got me understanding more about design thinking I was able to kind of create some projects and put them together with the students. The things that we do with GCU is invaluable because it really is something that we can see in action in the classroom. Project-based learning teaches me um, how to work with others and how to work as a team. It allows students to use their creativity, innovation, and develop their communication skills. They've learned to collaborate and work in groups. They've learned to take ideas that they've had and do something with those ideas, problem solve those ideas. The more people that get involved, uh, the more ideas are generated, and the better, well-rounded student we can develop. We're able to bring in um, new skills, new ideas to Bernard Black or to the other schools that we work with. But then our students at GCU get lots of opportunities to interact with the schools as well, um, resulting from our partnerships. So for example, at a number of different schools, our GCU Robotics Club will mentor the robotics clubs that are starting at our K-12 schools, which also helps our GCU students because what we know is when you begin to teach a skill, you learn it way more deeply than when you are just receiving the skill. Right away. When schools come to us and say, here's what we need, we don't go, oh, nope, can't help you. Instead, we say, okay, let's figure out how to make that happen. So I think what you would notice if you talk to a lot of schools is that we partner with every school a little differently because it's all based upon what they need and what the assistance that they've asked for is. If you have the opportunity, take the opportunity to get engaged with Partner with a Principal. It is so immensely valuable and I feel like with Principal Corley, not only have I been inspired by what's happening here at Tomahawk Elementary, but I feel like I've gained a colleague as well. If you have something that you think you can share with K-12, pick up the phone, give them a call. See who's in your neighborhood, what schools are in your neighborhood and be persistent and keep asking, how can I help, how can I help? Because I can guarantee you that there's a lot of different ways that organizations can help K-12 to be more successful.